I like my game. It, it's not game that I be giving, bro. It's not jewels or nothing, bro. It just be things that I learn from other people, and like I put them into perspective. And like motherfuckers ask me how I last, I say I, I live day by day. And you mentioned Fiend. Another person you mentioned was uh was Slim, Soldier Slim, Magnolia Slim. Um, Long before the No Limit days and all of that tough guy days, y'all was already locked in? Definitely, like me and Slim used to rap at DJs and shit. Like, I used to rap at DJs and shit. I remember one time we snuck in on, um, uh, I forgot the name of the fucking Newtons. We used to always go rapping Newtons. UNLV, nobody. Like, UNLV, that's like one of the spots where UNLV starts. We used to always go sneak in Newtons and fucking rap. Like that's what we 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 started there in that DJ and shit. Okay. No, for sure, man. Uh, what was a uh, what was a uh, before he transitioned and became a household name on the music side? You know, like Magnolia Slim. Like what was what was he like coming up, man? You were seeing him around the projects and stuff. For, in the beginning, like when we first started out, Slim was our barber. Slim and Rashid was the barbers. Okay. Both of them used to be our barber, so Slim was cutting out here first, then Rashid was talking about that. And he was cold? Oh, he was cold. Oh, I didn't cold them clippers. Yes, bro. I knew he was cold with them clippers. But, um, bro, I remember one time, knowing I knew the impact Slim had, bro, um, just when I knew Slim was big. So, everybody talking that shit about soldiers, right? This what niggas forget. It's these fucking Jordans that Slim bought back, too. Um, I don't know what number it is. We figured that shit out. He had the white ones and the black ones. So the whole project take a trip and we go to, um, I want to say Biloxi or some shit. All of us got them bitches on. But Slim had start wearing them bitches in concert. Like, you know the one I'm talking about? We gonna find them bitches and we gonna put it up. But if they got the white and they got the black. Like, it was the, it was right after, I think, it's probably around the time we figured out Reebok wasn't gonna get no motherfucking money, so he, but he really had us all with these Jordans on. The Magno used to wear just these two colors. Damn. And we all went to Biloxi, all of us had them bitches on. And I was like, man, that nigga, man, that nigga got us wearing Reeboks, and this nigga that changed this shit to Jordans. Transcend. And nobody really realized it. I was like, man, that nigga cold with it. Hold on, so the, so the soldier reads come from him? Yeah. These soldiers made for walk. So is he? He's not the he, he's not the first person out out y'all projects that was wearing them. He's more he's so the like popular. First nigga called them the soldier Reeboks. So I don't know if he's the first person wearing them, but I know after he put them on, we all called them soldiers. So them stupid motherfuckers start trying to make camouflage soldiers. No, we wasn't fucking with them. It's crazy of how they did that years later. All we fucking with was the black and the white ones. We were black or white. That was soldiers. But no, you couldn't wear no blue with the peanut butter soldier. That was the motherfucking soldier. It means they had to be black or white. You know what I'm talking about? The navy blue ones with the peanut butter know, soul. Exactly. I used man, to be a reba. I used to mess with them whites that. and them blacks, man. No, you wasn't. They no, had to be black or white, brother. That's what I said. Them blacks and them whites. That's what I said. That's the same thing he did with Jordans. Yeah. Now, you're going to see the comments on the body. They're going to tell you anybody that from the Magnolia. They're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. We yeah. went to Biloxi one year, but we started rocking them bitches. And I was like, this nigga just took us from Reeboks to Jordans. And we was rocking them bitches. Like them bitches with soldier Jordans. <laughs> like a lot of motherfuckers probably don't remember this, but I'm gonna take them back and they gonna remember exactly what I'm talking about. Watch right, you, Soldier Slim, man. Right. And y'all may maintain a relationship up until his passing? Yeah, it's like him and, like, the day he passed, you know, we, me and Spitter was on our way to his house. We was going to the concert with him, bro. Me and Spitter was around the corner getting tennis in the Foot Locker. When we found out he got killed, we was on our way to go meet him at the house, bro. You know, him and Spinner was locked in, and me and him was already locked in, right? But we were going, he had a show that night. We was meeting him. We meeting him, Jig, we called Jig, Jig at church or some fucking where. And me and Spinner stopped to go get some tennis before we went over there. They called us and told us why we was getting the, getting the tennis that he got shot. We didn't think he was dead either. Oh, just like Dodo. Uh, them, didn't, them got shot before. Like, it, saying the person, Dead and the person got shot, like, motherfucker saying the motherfucker got shot, nigga, like, yeah, oh, here we go with this shit. It's not like a person is dead, like, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely ain't think that, boy, we pulled up around there, and me and Spinner was actually together, bro. 
on our way to his house, bro. So we was right around the corner. We are on, we in Gen, we already in Gentilly. We at the Foot Locker getting tennis. Yeah, I made it over there. In Yellow Tape. Um, yeah, RIP to him, man. Um, <clears throat> man, um, no, nah, Cello, man, I definitely want to link back up with you to chop it up to get some more stories. You know, this, this ain't the stop, last. Brother. This yeah. shit don't stop. You know, um, man, a previous interview you mentioned, you know, you had some new music on the horizon, man. I'm going to tell you, bro, I told you I got to yeah, put it out. We put the clip out about you and the Spitter album. That went crazy. Oh, and no, all like, that. That, like we gonna, that's some summertime shit. But I'm just saying, like, in, in, inspiration. But I be needing a little inspiration. But I'm definitely, I'm back on the music shit. But, like, I'm into that movie shit. I told you that, bro. I was checking out the uh, the movie you had texted me about. Um, yeah, you got to check out. Uh, I heard, I saw what you said. Superish, okay. Kelly Yuval, Pretty Kitty, my homie Nelson. Um, no, it's a lot of shit that's popping, bro. Me and the soldier about to shoot a movie too. That's yeah, that's 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 it. I shout out to him, man. Yeah, the soldier. Like he's definitely underrated when it comes to like I think people. He under like the soldier is definitely underrated when it comes to business. Like that that he a young dude who really know business. Like he's not a motherfucker who's trying to be as Paul. Like he really understands the business. Like, that nigga could do deals with me. I'm telling you real talk. Like, he understands the business. And you know he went to school for a lot of shit. So, oh, like, like he, yeah, he different, bro. Like, he a real business, man. So it's easy, like, we do a lot of, me and him, do, we definitely do a lot of business. Oh, for sure. Him and Willow just dropped the uh, album two, that shit sick. No, for sure. Shout out to him, man. Um, I know he's definitely uh, made it an effort, made it a point to keep his, his father's name alive, legacy alive. You know? Yeah, but he, bro. But he like, got his hands in a lot more than music. That's bro. what I'm trying to tell you. Like, he different, bro. Like, he definitely different. Like, he understand the business of it. Man. And it'd be good to see youngsters who understand the business because, like, with them, you don't, you don't chop game, you swap game. Because they be teaching you shit at the same time you're trying to teach them shit. You know what I'm saying? So we had a conversation. Man, that nigga be on the phone for so long as a motherfucker saying. Man, so you, you just mentioned that the game. Is, is it true that you start off, did they get the million dollars worth of game from you, man? Say, bro, like, I, listen, bro. You, I've been doing, listen, I used to do chopping game on fucking um, Instagram. Gilead definitely used to be in the shit on chopping game. But chopping game and million dollars worth of game, you know, that's. Kind of far fetched, but I'd been chopping game on the internet, bro. He said Gilly was in the. Uh, yeah, he used to be in. He used to in the be in the live and all that kind of. Uh, shit. Yeah, shout out to Gilly though. That's my. That's a homie. Oh, you got a relationship with Gilly? I know it. Yeah. Definitely. But I ain't saying no nigga took it like like motherfuckers see things and revamp them like or you make them better than what they were. That's not taking nothing from the motherfucker because I still have chopping games. So That's chopping right. game ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with million dollars worth of game. We chop game. They give a million dollars worth of game. It's two totally different things. But we chop that shit though. We chop chop that shit. Man. Give us man, sell all the youngsters. Man, anybody tuning in right now, what's some game you can drop on them before we sign off, dog? About life, man, how to navigate this world and you know, you always be trying to say, bro, like, listen, bro, like, I, like, my game, it, it's not game that I be giving, bro, it's not jewels or nothing, bro. It just be things that I learn from other people. And, like, I put them into perspective. And, like, motherfuckers ask me how I last, I say I, I live day by day. But I navigate through this shit the same way other people do, bro. Like, for as game is... It'd be so natural, bro. It's like, just because you asking me to drop some game, I can't because it's, it, the shit be yeah, so natural. Be like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always like a conversation that sometimes I realize what I told motherfucker today. I, my pops always told me, I can lead you to the water, teach you how to fish. And I might feed you, but I ain't cooking your shit. So, like, motherfuckers could get laid at the water, you could show them how to fish, but niggas is just not there to cook your shit. Yeah. Is that the give me give me my roses? Uh, no, nah, that, that ain't that. No, nah, that's I like majority of my shit becomes record stuff. Yeah, that's a different like song. That's, okay, okay. Yeah. Lead you to the world, teach you how to fish. Give and me I'm my like, flowers. Give me, what I'm thinking. About. I, I got a song called Give Me My Roses. Yeah, that's what give I'm thinking. Give me my like. Yeah, yeah. Listen, bro, niggas wasn't on Give Me My Roses before I start saying that shit, bro. Like, think about this, right? You hear uh, people like Drink Champs and all that kind of shit say they what they give you? Give them flowers, man. 
Yeah. All right, flowers is giving you your roses, right? Let me just show you what. Let me just show you the difference in it, right? They just say flowers. You know why they say flowers? Because they don't understand the definition of giving you your roses. You know where giving you your roses come from? I said, listen, bro. When they buried my grandma, they played a song called "Give Me My Ro Give Me My Flowers." So the shit is like a Christian song. So that shit is like some Southern shit. You see what I'm saying? Like we get that shit from old church hymns and shit like that. So that's where that shit come from. Like they give me my roses and give me my flowers and all that kind of shit. That's hymns that we were singing in church and shit like that. Like when old people die, they sing that song. So that's why it's so relatable to us. That's why not everybody be on the shit, give me my flowers, give me my roses and all that kind of shit. Man, I've been Saying that, but I don't take credit. I don't be on no taking credit for shit like boom, like motherfucker give me credit for boom, right? I didn't I didn't even come up with boom. My partner skip UTP Juvenile. Oh yeah, no, you already know. No, come from boom, right? What I did was I said hashtag boom. Yeah. So I made boom building opportunities out of mud. I'm known for that. When I got on BET, I said Marcelo Ghetto, gather in higher education, teach others. And that's what I do. I make acronyms and words to keep your motherfucking ass in tune with it. So now people just relate me with boom because I always put hashtag boom. But at the same time, Skip always say boom too. Oh, for sure. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, that's the homie though. He's still doing his thing with the, uh, was it chicken and watermelon, I think? That nigga, chicken and watermelon, yeah. pot belly. That thing got all kind of shit uh, going still on. Getting it in. Sad nigga's the ultimate hustle. That's what I call my nigga. Oh, for sure, for sure. Mr. Marcelo, man, it's dope chopping up with you again, man. If they want to link up with you, uh, do some business with how, how can they reach you, dog? Hey, bro, listen, uh, what my Instagram at? Jet oh. Life General Marcelo. I don't even know why I ain't never changed my shit. But it's crazy because my a lot of motherfuckers be uh, uh, relate to that though. But Jet Life General Marcelo, um I be on Twitter too though. I'm back on Twitter. Marcelo oh. Ghetto. I don't be fucking with the TikTok and all that kind of shit, though. Or the YouTube page. Boom, multimedia. Pow. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Just one last, man. Why would you say you need to change it? The Jet Life General? I just thought about that because I always see people changing their shit and I've never changed. Like, that's been the shit. That's been mine since I started. I but you still, you, do you still consider yourself a uh, Jet Life? You fucking right. De most definitely. Come on. Oh, oh definitely. I'm the general that shit. I'm definitely the general. No, for sure, for sure, for sure. And it may be a Spitter collab album coming. Because you want that so bad, huh, bro. Relax, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, brother. Don't trip. No, for sure, for sure, I got man. you, brother. Don't trip. Until next time, Expect man. Expect unexpected. Out. Yeah, humble soul, man. Mr. Marcelo. OG shit, you smell it. 100, we out. You dink.